So uh, we are in the cruise leg right now and let's see how to plan for a good descent. Although in real life the FMC calculates the top of descent for us, but in the simulator a lot of things are still missing. So as of now we're maintaining flight level 290, 310 knots corresponding to Mach decimal 78 as of now. And the flight mode enunciation says speed a la Vina part. Which means that if you look at the MCP right now, a la Vina is engaged. Speed window here is blank which means the FMC is providing the speed data and also the entire route details. So as of now, FMC is guiding the autopilot without any manual input. Now, a good descent planning on a 787 won't work in the traditional way like it used to work for the other airplanes, thanks to its extreme aerodynamically clean airframe. In almost all of the jetliners like the 737-320s or even the 747s or the 380s, you could simply divide the first three digits of your altitude by three and judge the track mass that you need for a good descent. Example, if you're at uh, flight level 300, that is 30,000 feet, you just divide 300 by 3, answer is 100. So which means you need 100 nautical miles to get down in the most roughly calculated order. But that's something that won't work for the 787. You see the 787, the math goes for 3.5 instead of 3, which means that a 787 loses 3.5 nautical miles per thousand feet instead of 3 nautical miles. So the calculation part goes off a bit compared to all other airliners that you fly. So in this scenario, we're at 29,000 feet. So 290 divided by 3.5 gives us 82.9, roughly 83 nautical mile to get down to the runway. Now let's quickly set up for arrivals into Ahmedabad, ILS runway 23. We're done, then let's choose flaps 30 on the approach page, auto brakes three. And uh, just like for many other reasons, I just can't set up the arrivals in the FMC when I'm already in the flight. So I'm gonna do things manually. For that, first things first, we'll need a chart for ILS 23. There we go. And uh, localizer frequency for is for uh, ILS 23 is 110.3. Let's put that in the FMC NAVRAT page. 110.3, final approach course is 225. Set. Also, let's give the Ahmedabad VR identifier. Uh, let's just put it in the FMC as well. Alpha Alpha Echo 113.1. Now, where do we find how much track miles we have left? The answer is progress page. But again, in the simulator, the progress page just shows the entire track mile from departure to destination and doesn't update to the track miles remaining or as it says DTG, which is distance to go, which is why let's eyeball it uh, from the ND. Now, in the ND, the range is 80 nautical mile, which means this arc over here is 20 nautical mile. This is 40. This is 60. And then we have a U-turn just about 10 nautical mile. So total of 70 nautical mile is what I can see, a rough calculation. Now just the way we divided 29,000 feet, that is 290 by 3.5 to get the track miles. Right now we have track miles over here, so we can just multiply this 70 by 3.5. The answer is 245. That means our altitude should be at 20, 24,500, but we are at flight level 290, which means we're high. So let's immediately start a descent I'll choose 10,000 feet for now and uh, level change, flight level change. And since we're a bit high, let's use a little bit of speed brake, extending speed brakes. And look at the rate of descent that we're getting. It's crazy. Okay, approaching 17,000 feet. 170 divided by 3.5 gives us 48.5. So looking at the ND, I think we are good. So let's reduce our speed now. Okay, so now that's a lot of calculation, uh, especially with the decimal number involved. There's one more simple way of doing it. Is we simply hit the meter switch uh, on the EFIS panel and read out the meters part to roughly get the track mass required. For example, 16,000 feet, 160 divided by 3.5 is 45 decimal 7. And the meter says 48 decimal 8. So that's just about 3 miles extra that is what the meters part is showing. Let's check for 15,000 feet. 150 divided by 3.5, 42.8. And the meter says 46 decimal 2. And on the ND, if you look, we have roughly about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 nautical miles ago. So we're good. 
let's do the 10,000 procedures aligning lights when we turn off taxi lights on and seat belt signs on and as we can see India Alpha Hotel Delta 110.3 is identified on the PFD All right, uh, we are Abim Ahmedabad. Let's start reducing speed flaps one and speed one. Flight level five five transition level altimeter QNH. Let's just press B to get the latest setting automatically. Radio limit is alive. Zeppelin does something pretty ridiculous, but let's see how we can manage it. All right, gear down, flap 20, speed 20. Okay, localizer glide slope is alive. Let's arm the approach. Localizer glide slope capture. Runway straight ahead, uh, right house flaps 30, landing clearance obtained, landing checklist complete. Uh, let's fly manually all the way to the end. That's how it's done. I hope you learned something new today. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.